Christmas. I tried on the leggings that came in just now. These feel so good. I feel like if they would have had a higher waistband on top of the already perfectly constructed pair of tights with a little bit of cinch for the high waist portion, these would be hands down the perfect, the best pair of tights. put the, the little stand together that I was telling you about. Too cute, right? <laughs> and look at what I'm watching. Babs. A good movie to sit and take my hair out so I can wash it and braid it back down for my underwear maintenance. But it's so cute. I'm going to get some new little accent bowls, but for now, those will do. But how y'all like this little runner? So cute, so cute. <laughs> all right so this is the rinse fruit i'm going to actually freeze some of this turmeric and ginger but grapes berries i did put a lot of the fruits with like the tough skin down here together because i feel like they'll be all right and plus like i said i'm juicing a lot of this stuff i did get some pineapples already sliced i'm still going to rinse this and i'm still going to rinse this when i open it for salads and i actually been purchasing mint to put into my water and game changer okay <laughs> Je pars ton travail, mon bien-aimé. Je pars ton travail, que Dieu va te bénir. Il attend ton courage, il attend que tu te lèves. Meanwhile, in my leasing office, they have the cutest little dog. Like, one of the employees basically said that this is their little mascot. Like, they admitted it. This is what 
makes people fall in love and just want to rent with them. It's sickening, but it's so cute. <laughs> Time no day for the buffle. The papa got to give me the muscle. When the money come, I no go turn full. Friends knocking on my door like a bang bang. Me I no go waste all my time time time. The money don't it come with the gang gang. I don't know how long I was talking, and it wasn't on record. But right now we are trying on some leggings from Target. Had a couple gift cards and I said, let me use them for some little fall necessities that I need right now. And yeah, the only thing is I ordered three pair. For some reason, they only sent two. So maybe the other one was like out of stock or whatever. I really wanted all three, <laughs> but that money better be back in my account. I'm so pissed off because I have a million and one reasons to be pissed off, but one out of that million and one, okay, is the fact that whomever is delivering my packages is just throwing them in the front of the building. They're not even bringing them in the building. Are you dumb? Like, I'm not even gonna work myself up because I can be, I can do the most and start sending out emails, okay, to the damn post office. Sometimes I can get a look at some things and I can start to see whether they fit or not. Ooh, one thing that I love is the highways. Highways will save you, okay? Even if they don't come all the way to the top of your, uh, <laughs> this way I want highways, right up under the, 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 the boobs. But even if they don't do that, um, this little extra band does save the day. But it looked like a long crotch, which I love. And also, there's a black pair. We love a good black pair. Black leggings are so essential to just the black girl aesthetic period because we love to show our hips, our butt. Those are like, our, oh, okay. So it seems like I know you all the way lie. I know you all the way lie. No, y'all didn't send me something with a hole already in it. I could sock somebody in the face right now. That's the purpose of buying new leggings because the old leggings got fucking holes in it too. So, okay, so they're not that bad. They're actually, they're cute, but they're not forgiving. You can see every last dimple, but I plan on rocking it with cardigans, long sleeve shirts, things of that nature. I think I'm just gonna send the black ones back. Like, I like the olive. I even like the fact that they're not the color of tights that we wear all the time. So you feel a little bit different, but child, leggings is leggings. Okay, they're not bad. They're not bad, I like them. I do not know if I'm going to keep these only because they got that hole in the back. I have to, I can try to sew them up, but it's going to snag because that's not a part of the material that needs to be sewn. It's not going to last long, but I can cover it with a cute cardigan or a cute sweater. The blacks are always good. They're a little more forgiving because of the color. So we're not going to try these on because this was a huge disappointment. But for this new job, 
you know, even though you can wear what you want, you'll be doing a lot of work, a lot of standing up, a lot of walking. So I just wanted a couple comfortable pairs of pants. And I actually went to Walmart and I got a pair of these little joggers out of the men's section. Child, they fit just like these. When I say they fit just like these, they fit just like these. So these are the olive green joggers from Walmart. And I'm telling you now, when I say that these are comfortable, I feel so safe in these because it's giving me the shape, it's giving me the sexiness. You're still seeing, you know, my assets and things of that nature, but the material is a lot thicker and it's just cool. Like you have the pockets here for functionality with like your phone and shit. And for some reason, it doesn't show as much in the back. And even down at the ankles, if you can tell, down at the ankles, it really still gives the vibe of leggings and they're joggers. There's like a little cuff at the bottom. Tie a string, you can wear one of these. And I planned on teaming it with like a sweater, a little cardigan, a denim jacket or something. So for in Walmart, these were the tags. I, I'm keeping a tag because I plan on going back to the men's section and purchasing these same pants. I'm going to get a few pair of them now that I know that they fit because I couldn't try them on in the store. That's a whole story within itself. But guess how much these were? $11.99. And if you can get into it, they're nice and thick. I feel like you can get at least... At the least, you should be able to rock these at least 20 times. For the leggings, you'll be pushing it 20 times with the leggings. And when I say 20 times, I mean 20 whole washes too. Because with washing and wearing and tearing, it's all going to add up. So I feel like, yeah, you can get 20 wears out of this. And after that, they might just be house pants. But for now, they're really cute. You can pull them off with a lot of cute different looks. They had some in there with like the cargo pocket that I thought was really cute. Child, do not sleep. Don't sleep on it. Walmart and Target for the win. But Walmart, men's section for the plus size girl. Just a laid back vibe, baby. <laughs> Hey Divas, hey Jets. So I am in the kitchen. I'm about to try to make a plate of something. I made some brown rice in my rice cooker. And although it cooks rice really, really good, um, it makes a little bit of mess. It spills a little bit, which I don't understand. So it's about, it should be about four o'clock. And I want to try to plate this idea up that I seen on Instagram just now. Basically homemade sushi. But I always feel like I can put these little concoctions together. But like always, I tend to be missing like one or two ingredients. So I have these. <laughs> Water drips so much out of that pot, but I have these seaweed chips. So I also have some avocado, right? Very, very ripe avocado. I'm scared to bust these open, but I have to eat them up. Hence the reason why I was trying to look for something to pair with this dish. So we're gonna do brown rice, avocado, shrimp, cause I got some shrimp. I put them in the cooker as well. 
And we're gonna try to put a little something together. <laughs> we're gonna try. And I got a little bit of sweet sauce. I wish I had some wasabi, but. Divas and gents, let me tell you something. This was something that I never thought that I wanted to do. <laughs> but I believe in the future, I'm going to get the right tools to cut the sushi. I think I had the right technique, to be quite honest. As far as layering and rolling and things of that nature. It's just really, you have to have whatever that is that they use to keep it together as they slice it. Because as I sliced it, it literally fell apart. And it was so cute. And it was like, damn, you know what I mean? After all the cute little effort. But honestly, with it just being like a cluster of ingredients, the right ingredients, it was still delicious. You know, it just got a little bit messy. But when I say I was full as a tick, tipsy, I sat there for a minute like, do I really want to clean up this kitchen? <laughs> but I did clean up the kitchen and yeah. So now I'm just whipping up a little cocktail and I had some liquor left over, some spice rum, um, a little Malibu, just a little bit of stuff left over from the housewarming. A little drizzle of honey. You know what I can't stand about being so full, like utterly full? Is that even within an hour or so, I can still feel a little teeny bit of hungry again. After being full to the max. Yeah. Okay, so Target, y'all play a little bit too much for me. I don't know where they notified me that I'm getting a refund for the leggings that I missed. And also, now they sending me something else. What the hell is going on here? Mm. This looks like the leggings that they said that they refunded as if they didn't have it. These are quite better quality though. Even though it don't have that wide band, it definitely got more fullness and they're heavier. I feel a lot more spandex. Mmm. I might have to cop again. Okay, these are 16. Okay. I already know these are gonna be my favorites. I'm gonna be dogging them. I got so many little tops that I wanna wear with just leggings. I just wanna be comfortable while I'm working, period. Okay, so I wanted to talk to y'all about one of my new purchases that Baby Girl did not expect to purchase, but Y'all know how the game go with these phones. So every two years, they do something to where your phone is inconvenienced and you need to purchase something else. So I have 
a iPhone 15 Plus. I just wanted to take the time just to do a quick little voiceover primarily because for some reason just the sound quality alone in my bathroom is not the best. I enjoy sitting in there and kicking. I have like this cute little um, wooden ottoman in there and you know I got my little mirror for when I'm doing my hair and makeup and stuff. But I slowly start to realize, girl, pick another room because this is not the only room. <laughs> so the lighting is good. It's cute. You know, you have that little hue that goes on that gives you a nice polish. But as far as the sound, it sucks. So I'm just going on and on and on about this phone at this point. And I found it interesting how, how they give you a cord and they don't give you the actual block or brick to plug it in. This specific cord has a little bit more texture. I think it's good for anti-bend, anti-break, whatever. But they only give you one. <laughs> and the price for a replacement is ridiculous. Once you get into the iPhone kind of vibe, you'll start to learn that, yeah, it's more expensive. Your caliber kind of changes. You never really want to go back to an Android. And... It's just interesting. So I did pick up a few cases from Five and Below. I know, I know, I know. But at the time, I felt like I wanted to be more colorful with my phone. I'm so much of a feminine girl or a feminine woman at this point. So where every time I get dressed, it's sexy, it's grown. And I never really have that much fun going on in my life. Just something cute, just something playful. So I said, let me get some little cases from Five and Below that's just fun. I recommend that when you do get a case for your phone, go on ahead to five and below. Don't do your big one in the iPhone store. You're not getting no pants on your back for it. Trust me. I know everybody just want to show off their phone just, just so they can have that sign on the back of their case to say, huh, Apple, <laughs> no, it's not that big of a deal. Go ahead and spend a little $5 at five and below because the amount of money that I pay for this phone is ridiculous and at this point, I, I just wonder why I even do it to myself, but I do like the camera quality. It's amazing. And over time, you know, you can invest in little gadgets, you know, just, just to add a little upgrade to your phone if you're using it for vlogging and stuff like that. But it's it's worth the, the splurge for sure. But, you know, take your steps with an iPhone. You don't have to do do the biggest you know, latest trend because they have the titanium. That's what I really wanted it because the camera is so crisp. <laughs> oh, chef kiss, baby. But you know, in due time. Divas, I tried on the leggings they came in just now. These feel so good. I haven't felt leggings like this since I used to get them from Lane Bryant for like I'm going to say $50 or $60 up here. Yes. That's why it's so interesting shopping plus size and sharing, you know, some of the tricks or little cheat sheets because shopping for us is so expensive, especially when you want something with comfortability and affordability. So, so we're definitely going to go with the ones with the purple tag. These are a hit. I feel like if they would have had a higher waistband on top of the already perfectly constructed pair of tights with a little bit of cinch for the high waist portion, these would be hands down the perfect, the best. Ankle wise, they're really, really good. Pretty long too. And like I said, dress them up, dress them down. Leggings is kind of universal with some shit, but the material is not super shiny, so I would say that you can wear this for, like, work purposes. I wouldn't say that you can work out in it, only because there will be some type of adjusting. But they just feel good. They feel comfortable. I actually feel like I could have went down a size. What? So I thank y'all for watching. Until next time, I love you, divas and gents. Mm -hmm. Laid back vibe, baby.